Okay, we'll see if this is working. All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to school with me today. My name is Miss Ashley. What's your name? Oh, I love that name. Well, thank you for coming to school. While we wait for all of our friends, I thought we could do a little song and dance while we wait for everyone to get here. It's called Shake My Sillies Out, and it goes like this. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my waggles all way. I gotta clap, clap, Can you clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Wiggle my waggles all way. I gotta jump, jump. Can you jump? Jiggles out. Jump, jump, it's good to jump, jump our jiggles out. out. Jump, jump. Jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. I gotta yawn, yawn, oh. yawn my sleepy. Can you out. yawn? Yawn, yawn, oh. yawn my sleepy. Some of us yawn, are still waking yawn, up. Yawn my sleepy. Oh, and out. stretch. And my waggles away. I gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. And wiggle my waggles away. Thank you for singing that song and dance with me. It's called Shake My Sillies Out. Sometimes we need to shake our sillies out when we get to school first thing in the morning. I know I do. Well, thank you for coming to school with me today. I'm so happy to see everyone here. I miss all my friends when they're not at school with me. And some of you might be watching this video at your house. Are you at your house today? I'm at my house today but we can still learn and have fun together. I want to introduce you to one of my special friends who likes to play with me at school. Her name is Barbara, but sometimes Barbara's really shy and she doesn't like to come out. So will you help me bring out Barbara so she can say hi to us? Ready? Let's say, hello, Barbara. Ready? <gasps> hello, Barbara. I see her, but she's really shy. Let's try again a little bit louder this time. Ready? Can you say, hello, Barbara? Oh, there she is again. I think if we try one more time, she'll come out. Ready? As loud as you can say, hello, Barbara. Oh, here she is. Hello, Barbara. How are you today? I am very well, Miss Ashley. How are you? I am so good, Barbara. I'm glad to see you and all of our friends at school today. Should we teach our friends the hello song that we sing at school? I think we should. Let's do it together. <laughs> Sometimes Barbara has a silly voice, but this is how our hello song goes that we sing with our friends at school. Will you sing it with me? We'll sing to Barbara first, ready? Hello, Barbara. Hello, Barbara. How are you? How are you? We're so glad to see you. We're so glad to see you here at school. Here at school. Let's sing to our friends, Barbara. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? How are you? We're so glad to see you. We're so glad to see you here at school, here at school. Can you sing to me? Hello, Miss Ashley. Hello, Miss Ashley. How are you? How are you? We're so glad to see you. We're so glad to see you here at school, here at school. Thank you for singing with me. Let's say bye to Barbara for now. We'll see her later. Can you say, bye, Barbara? Goodbye, everyone. See you later. I like Barbara. She's such a special and happy friend. Today, I wanted to talk to you about spring. Did you know that it is springtime now? It might not look like spring where you live. 
where I live, it's still snowing and cold. But sometimes in spring, it starts to get warm and hot outside and it rains a lot and we start to see lots of new colors. We see leaves and flowers on the tree and we might see lots of creepy bugs and animals that wanna come out to play now that it's warm. We'll put this right here. One animal that likes to come out and play during springtime is a mouse. Do you like mice? Some people think mice are really creepy and they go squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you a story about three white mice. So let's say hello to our mice. <gasps> Can you say hello? Look how cute they are. They go squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> and they have cute little tails. We're gonna put them right up here on a white piece of paper. Can you help me count the mice? Ready? One, two, oh, that mice mouth likes to fall down, and three. Let's count again to make sure they're all there. Ready? Can you help me count? One, two, Three, can you do three fingers? One, two, three. Some of you might even be three years old. Okay, so this is a story about the three white mice and it goes like this. Once upon a time, there were three white mice who liked to play on a white piece of paper so the cat couldn't see them. One day when they were playing, they found three cans of paint a red can, a yellow can, and a blue can. The mice thought, ooh, that would be so fun if we jumped into the cans of paint. Is that crazy? We don't jump into cans of paint, do we? So the first mouse decided to jump into the red can of paint. Let's count to three and make him jump into the can of paint. Ready? One, two, three. Into the red can he went, but when he came out, he wasn't white anymore. He was red. Wow, said the other mice, you turned a new color. We want to turn a new color too. So the next mouse decided to jump into the yellow can of paint. Help me count and we'll make him jump into the yellow can. Ready? One, two, three. In he went, but when he came out, he wasn't white anymore. He was yellow. Oh my goodness, said the mice. We're all turning different colors. The last mouse wanted to turn a different color too. So he decided to jump into the blue can. Ready, let's count. One, two, three. And he went and when he came out what color do you think he was blue wow said the mice we are different colors now we are red yellow and blue red yellow and blue have a special name they're called primary colors can you say that word primary good job it's kind of a tricky word. And sometimes when I learn a new word, I like to clap the word like this. Primary, can you do it? Primary, we can also tap it with our fingers like this. Ready? Primary, you try it. Primary, good job. So red, yellow, and blue are primary colors, wow. They have a special name. But the mice weren't done jumping into the cans of paint. The red mouse said, Oh, yellow mouse, you're so beautiful. I want to be yellow too. So she decided to jump into the yellow can of paint. Can you help me count to see if the red mouse can turn yellow too? Ready? 
One, two, three. In went the red mouse, but when she came out, she wasn't yellow. She was orange. Oh my goodness, said the mice. When you mix red and yellow together, you get orange. Wow, said yellow and blue mouse. We want to turn a different color too. So the yellow mouse decided to jump into the blue can of paint. What color do you think? The yellow mouse will turn when she jumps into blue. Let's find out. Ready, let's count so she can jump. One, two, three. Whee! In went the yellow mouse. But when she came out, she wasn't blue. What color do you think she'll be? Did you say green? She turned green. Oh, that's my favorite color. I love green. So when you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. All right, said the blue mouse. I want to turn a different color too. I'm going to jump into the red can of paint to see what happens. Let's count so that blue mouse can jump into the red can. Ready? Help me count. One, two, three. Whee! And he went. But when he came out, he wasn't red. He was purple. Oh my goodness. So now the mice were orange, green, and purple. And those colors are not primary colors. We know primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Orange, green, and purple are called secondary colors. Oh, that's another tricky word. Can you say sec? Secondary. Let me hear. Oh, good job. Remember, you can tap it. Secondary. And you can clap it. Secondary. Oh, good job. You're learning lots of tricky new words today. But the mice were not white anymore, so they had to run away so the cat couldn't see them. Run, 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 run. And that is the end of the three white mice. That is a story that is by a lady named Ellen Stoll Walsh called Mouse Paint. It's a real book that maybe your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or other grown up can get for you to read. It's one of my favorite books. So another thing that comes out during springtime are lots of bugs. Ooh. Some bugs are really creepy and crawly. But I'm going to show you a bug that I have. They are called caterpillars. Can you see them in there? Some of them are sleeping. Oh, I see this one. He's moving. Oh, can you see him crawling around? Oh my goodness. Do you know what caterpillars turn into? They turn into butterflies. Have you ever seen a butterfly flying around outside? You can make a butterfly with your hands like this. And they fly around. So here is a picture of a green caterpillar. It says a caterpillar is a baby insect. So right now these caterpillars are babies. But when they grow up and get bigger, they will turn into butterflies. So every day when you come to school here with me, we'll watch our caterpillars and see if they get bigger and we'll watch them grow into butterflies. That'll be really fun. Okay, friends. So another thing that we like to do at school is read books. Do you like to read books? I hope you do. Reading books is so much fun. This is one of my favorite books called Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. Have you ever read this story before? It's such a fun one. Let's read it together. Ready? It goes like this. It was bedtime, so five little monkeys took a bath. Do you take a bath? It's good to get clean, isn't it? Five little monkeys put on their pajamas. Five little monkeys Excuse me, brush their teeth. Can you brush your teeth? Brush, brush, brush. 
Five little monkeys said good night to their mama. Good night, mama. Then five little monkeys jumped on the bed. <gasps> Do you jump on your bed? One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So four little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So three little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Well, that would hurt to bump your head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So two little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, he's getting so angry. They're not listening. So one little monkey jumped on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So five little monkeys fell fast asleep. Thank goodness, said the mama. Now I can go to bed. The end. Did you like that story? I think it's a very silly book about five monkeys jumping on the bed. Well, boys and girls, thank you for coming to school with me today. When we say goodbye with our friends at school, we sing a goodbye song using our special clock. Do you have a clock like this at your house? I really like this clock because it has lots of animals and colors. Do you see some of the colors that we learned today? Can you see the red? <laughs> there it is. Can you see yellow? <gasps> right there. What about blue? <gasps> there it is. Remember those colors are primary colors. Let's see if we can see the secondary colors. Help me look. Do you see orange? There's orange. And green? Oop, there's two greens, dark green and light green. And purple? There's purple. All right, those are our primary and secondary colors. And what about the animals? Do you see any animals on the clock that we learned about today? What about a squeaky little mouse? There's a mouse. And we also read a story with five little monkeys. What do monkeys say? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> monkeys are so silly. So this is our clock that we use to sing our goodbye song and it goes like this. Goodbye now, goodbye now the clock says we're done. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Let's sing it one more time. Ready? Goodbye now, goodbye now. The clock says we're done. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for singing with me. I hope you had fun learning some new things at school with Miss Ashley. I had lots of fun singing songs and reading books with you. And I hope that you will come back tomorrow and we'll learn more about colors. All right, friends, I'll see you next time.